All right, we are live, but don't think I'm ready for you because I'm not. Guys, can you post which countries you're from if you feel comfortable? And uh, I'm going to get my microphone. My microphone's the next thing I need to buy. That is ice cold. Hello, testing. Oh my gosh, I love this. Pakistan, Guyana, Guyana, Bangladesh. Uh, Sajid is here. The black sheep, Sajith. He's from Sri Lanka. So right away we have Nepal, South Africa, Pakistan, Guyana, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, United States of America. I love this. This is the moment we've been dreaming of. Yes, I know. I th I think just man, if you mean my stream, that's like so nice. Um, Sajith, the black sheep. How could I forget you, dude? You haunt me in my dreams. Um, what do you mean? Do you think I just have a memory of a goldfish, bro? All right, we're going to get started here. Uh, we do have a couple minutes for some house taking issues. Um, now, for those of you, um, I do want to share the Discord with you. Uh, if you're good, you can be part of this. You know, just no bad words and stuff like that because we have to share with people but i would like to invite you to the discord uh it's new for me i'm really old uh how do you invite people i don't know how to do this uh, how do you invite people i feel really old is my screen shared all right hold on let me go here Hello, I'm gonna to get to you guys all you uh, all your comments here. We're just getting started, so I'm just gonna share the Discord real quick. Um, I don't know how to. Cause I'm old. Um, how do you invite someone to the Discord? Here, I, I know what to do. Oh, I really don't like that. I don't know how to do that. But if I go to my YouTubes, I can get an invite link. Oh man, I really don't like that. Um, still getting started here. Technically, I haven't started. Technically, I've not started with the Discord. Oh, here we go. All right, uh, I could show the match and I could get a, a copyright strike. That's the Discord. Uh, we want you to come to the Discord. Um, thanks, dog. Uh, and you've been a big part of this too, uh, Sajith, the black sheep. Um, it is believable though, believe it. Don't call it a comeback. Um, don't you ever doubt me ever again. 
Uh, let's go through some of these comments here. So the, the the Discord is good. We do have a couple areas where you can kind of be bad and swear, like in Harsh, Harsh's Haunted Castle. Harsh takes really, really good care of this Discord. Um, I'm not giving uh, questions to the, to the uh, quiz later today, but I'm just showing one where we're going to call out the Discord. He has a, a dance party. Um, Harsh and Math Guy and Sue Deep are really, really invested. Sue Deep's giving me a bunch of help. No rules, uh, but you see, we do have a lot of stuff where we post the new videos uh, on the alternate channel too. Blah, blah, blah. But we talk about cricket stuff. Sue Deep's posting it. Sue Deep's coming in for the win a ton of times. Um, and math guy um i'm missing people here for sure i'm trying to find someone else uh will uh is here uh zesty uh so a lot of guys we have a voice chat uh i don't want to do that one i'm new i am not i i feel old i'm probably messing something up right now but uh it is very fun so i highly recommend you go to the discord uh these guys take very very good care of it I am kind of a noob when it comes to those things. So, yeah, that is that. So let me get to some of your comments. Um, Kiran, uh, love from Nepal, right back at you. Uh, Namaskar, uh, South Africa from Sabir Khan. Uh, New World Cricket says, hello, hello, my friends. Uh, Pakistan, oh, nice. Uh, I talked about Pakistan in my latest video. Um, I have a little bit of Pakistan in my heart. Uh, when I said when my daughter was in the hospital, uh, someone from work visited me. The only person from work who visited me was like a family from Pakistan. And I just that just made me feel so much better. So uh, love to you and your country. I'm from Guyana. And I love I love that Guyana is is in South America because I've lived in South America. That is just so cool. That cricket is is a big part, uh, or at least a small part of South America. Bangladesh, uh, big helper of the channel, part contributor, uh, DK Youngblood, uh, who is also a vampire, uh, is from Bangladesh. So he uh, is invaluable to to me. Um, Sajid so Paulus, oh, what can we say that we haven't said about him? Hello from China. Uh, okay, ni hao, ni hao. Um, I used to study a little bit of Mandarin with my daughter in a place called Language Stars. Uh, hello from Dallas, Texas. You lucky, you lucky. If you guys don't know, a lot of USA cricket takes place in the Dallas, Texas area. So uh, I'm trying to move down there um, because the weather's better, better, you know, uh, government. Uh, Houses are cheaper. Really want to go to Dallas, Texas. And I don't know if you guys know how big of a country United States is, but it's huge. So it's it's not just like that easy to go there. It's like going to another country. Say, come to my Discord. I will. I will say to you people, gents, ladies and gents, please come to my Discord. You will have loads of uh, fun and diversions. Okay. You just saw the uh, Calcutta Knight Riders and RR match. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind on IPL because I've been watching the Premier Cup. Been having a blasty blast. Sunil Nareen, 100, maybe a comeback to West Indies. Uh, yeah, we'll have to talk about that later. This is the Discord link. Oh, Faiz Ahmed. Um, yeah, one of the best commenters on the channel. The first guy uh, to correct me about USA cricket stuff. So, yes, you are invaluable. Sue Deep, uh, guys, join the Discord here. Yes, uh, he is a huge contributor to the Discord, a huge advisor to the channel. Sue Deep, I am so, so deeply in your debt. Um, how many games you plan to watch in stadium? Two. Two. And I was going to pull that up right now. I'm watching Ireland versus Canada and um, – Bangladesh versus South Africa. Yeah, it's like whatever, but it's hard for me to go because I have to go by myself, stay in New York. I'm broke right now. Um, you know, I use my daughter's room, so you can't tell. 
that says Mariana. That's my daughter. Um, I don't have an extra room to record in. So that's why there's a lot of noise in some of my videos. Uh, they're just a regular guy. Uh, so I don't have like the money to just get up and go. It's just, it's really hard. So the fact that I got two tickets on credit was like, was like really tough. Um, yes. So I know I did kick you out of the discord, you know, uh, full transparency, but you can't say certain things again and again and again. And it hurts. It hurt to kick you out of the discord because we love you and hopefully you can come back, but you can't say really bad stuff over and over again. So, you know, it's not like it didn't hurt. I mean, I, I, I didn't want to have to do that. Um, yeah, Pakistan and America. All right. All right. Yes. Um, I used to work in an Arabic language school, but I, I got to know a lot of uh, Pakistani Americans. So, yeah, you guys are great. Uh, come jo join the Discord. It is like a mini United Nations. I would love to see more big teams in cricket. ICC need to invest in Japan, Malaysia, Thailand, Italia. Um, I agree, especially Malaysia. I've been really getting into Malaysia lately. Uh, Japan, obviously, but they have a really big baseball um background so i don't know how easy japan is going to be i would say malaysia and thailand out of those two but that's just my opinion um dangati what am i most excited for there's a lot i'm excited for there's a lot i'm disgusted for but i would say i'm excited to see this big cr cricket for the first time like a big cricket match um I wish it didn't have to be like this because it's not in the best um, scenario. You know, what's happening with USA cricket. I'm not really happy. I'm not really happy that we're building a huge stadium when we should be investing in the local community and things like that. But it is what it is. I, I'm excited to go around and be around cricket people, uh, but I could do that with minor league cricket. I could do that with like the local cricket clubs and I will be doing that too. And I'll be documenting that. Um, Nepal rules. Yes, I love Nepal. You know, it's like I just fell in love. I just fell in love with India. Now I'm falling in love with Nepal. And oh, hello from UAE. Okay, Pradeep uh, Vairam. Okay, uh, how do you feel about the UAE you losing um, in the uh, Premier Cup? I thought they were gonna go undefeated. I was really afraid of them. Now it looks like it's all uh, Oman. So uh, we are gonna do Kahoot in. Uh, 1230. So like in 20 minutes, USA is the center of the world. You are wrong and you spelled center wrong. So uh, Sajith, we expect better. This is an American channel. Spell it like Americans. I'm just joking. But am I really? Um, when are you coming to Nepal? Oh my God, I want to. I was just looking up Kathmandu, the capital. It looks like it's really good weather there. I'm just afraid of like, I don't know. I would love to hike there. It just Oh, I really want to go. I really want to go. I, I just, there's a lot I'm thinking in my mind. What is my favorite team in cricket? United States. Um, United States, Washington Freedom, and Lucknow um, Super Giants. Um, I'm still developing, you know, still developing that. But United States and Canada are my two favorite teams, I'd say. Uh, hello from UAE. Uh, live live from London. Season just started here. We got such a small window due to the weather. Yeah, I've been watching a little bit of the um, the um, county championships, and so my team for that was Glam Glamorgan. But I can't watch uh, too much. Oh, thank you. I'm assuming a big fan of the channel. Thank you very much. Uh, Oman is on the charge for sure. I want to come, <laughs> give it a year, give it a year. Oh man, it's so tough to, I'm, I'm learning. Yes, it's, it's a learning process. Harsh and Joy going to Nepal one day. Yes, and Harsh is one of the moderators on the Discord channel. So I highly uh, recommend you go there. You could talk to me, you could talk to Harsh. Um, a lot of the guys, it's just like a big family. I did watch some PSL, but it's so short. I wish it was attached to IPL. I wish it was like, it's, it's hard to get into like these, these smaller tournaments. I think they need to change stuff. Um, 
Brother, send me your cash tag. We'll bless you, whatever I can. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not sure what cash tag is. Um, you don't have to send me money. I'd, I'd rather do it with um, with the YouTube algorithm and things like that. Um, I, I couldn't possibly accept that. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I could bring you know better content. I'm trying to get a better microphone. Uh, I can't show it right here. <laughs> like, what is he doing? My microphone right now is really, really poor because my kids play with it. They put all their stickers on it. I don't even want to move it because I'm afraid it's going to break. Um, but thank you so much. Uh, Vitality Blast IPL. Oh, man. I don't know. I think uh, the 100 is so good, though. But I just wish these tournaments were kind of like integrated somehow. And... Um, I don't know. Where's my home? Yeah, I, I oh Mount Everest freaks me out, but I also love it so much. Uh, where's my hometown? Let me show you right now. I live in Washington, DC area. So you can show you. Ah. This is DC. It's like a big square. This is the capital. It's not part of any state. So I work in Washington, DC. But I live up here in North. This is a state called Maryland. So I live here. It's in my country, it's okay to burp. So I'm, I apologize if I burp uh, and you're offended by that. But yeah, here's New York. So I'll be going to New York. It is kind of a hike. It is kind of a long drive there. Um, but it's much better than Florida or Texas. So yeah, so I live in Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> I work uh, with kids uh, and schools. Uh, my specialty. Oh, I'm not even sharing my screen. There it is. Yeah, so here's Washington, D.C. Uh, I do that all the time when I'm recording videos, too. And, and then I have to go back and re-record it. Ugh. So this is Washington, D.C. And I live like right up here with the heart. Yeah, so that's Washington D.C. right there. I don't. I I like living here, but I want to move to Texas because it's cheaper. The pop, the government is better. Things like that. Okay. I'm harshest burner cow. Um. Okay. Thanks, too deep. Okay, we got 21 here. So we are gonna play Kahoot in 10 minutes. Let me show you the Kahoot. This is based on the ACC Premier Cup. Uh, there's 21 questions, and then we are going to play Utsop's quiz. Uh, he makes them like, you know, bone chillingly difficult. Uh, like you just want to cry at the end. So get a Kleenex. Uh, we had people crying last time. Um, and then I have some other quizzes that we can do. Maybe just a repeat. I really like the uh, grammar quiz that we did. And is it Australia quiz? <clears throat> so there's a couple of order of business that I want to take care of before we start. Uh, of course, always recommending channels and things like that. Um, this is a channel from a Pakistani American. It's called Sidra Silly Point. And it's really good because she interviewed hey, people from the Canadian national team. So if you're interested in the Canadian national team, and you'd like to know more about them, about them, um, <clears throat> I highly recommend you go to her channel. Her editing is good. Um, like the, the quality is good. And I think she has other channels. I mean, because it's just too good to be like a brand new channel. But she interviewed a harsh taker, um, uh, Sri, Sri Manta Vijerantane, um, you know, Kuram Chok Chokan. All these guys from the Canadian national team. So, I mean, if like you're really interested in that, I highly recommend you check out Citra Silly Point. Very, very uh, quality uh, channel. So do that. And then also I'm recommending um, Lathwis Cricket, although he's blowing up lately. When I, when I found him, he was like at 600 subscribers. But I don't really like these videos, uh, messaging 100 professional cricketers to see who replies. It's getting like a ton of views, but I don't really care about that. Like what I think is good is are these ones, um, creepy cricket superstitions. 
uh, 10 funniest cricket dismissals. Like, how did that get only 183 views? It's such a great video. 99% of cricket fans don't know these shocking rules. Like, these videos are bomb. These are so good. I've watched them, like, multiple times. So I just have to give him a shout out, like, although he's going to probably blow up soon. So probably doesn't need my shout out soon. Um, okay. And um, you should get more subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I hope so. I, I, I love doing this. So it's it's great. Have you learned all the fielding positions? I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, I'm very much learning. Like every day is like a huge learning experience. So you just have to give it time, you know, I guess. Um, yes, I'm learning. Like, I, I wish I could learn it all, but like, I just going through it and enjoying the process. Like I read every day, like, um, I also have books on the computer, but I'm reading this cricket 2.0 and this is giving me ideas. I'm writing, you know, copious notes in there. Um, so I'm taking this seriously, you know, um, uh, I, so I read a lot. I watch a lot. I talk a lot, you know, I'm on the discord asking questions. I say a lot of stupid things and you guys are so gracious, um, to correct me. And so, um, yeah, imagine, imagine this in like two years, how much better it will be, you know? Um, yeah. So I work in education. Uh, someone asked, um, what is my job? With the I work with kids. So I'm kind of a teacher. I'm an kind of an administrator. So I work with students who are learning English as a second language, which is why I love this group and how, you know, from different countries we all are. And that's just like, so like awesome for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if kids come from the United from a different country into the United States and they need to learn English, like I'll help develop a program for them to like be successful in the country. So that's basically what I do. Sometimes it is teaching, sometimes it's not. Um, have a look at Cricketonomics, one of the best. Crick oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I will. Let me put that. Cricketonomics. Yeah, let me do that. Um, there's always so many like good ideas, but sometimes you have to, um, English is also my second language. Yeah. And I do speak, uh, English, uh, I speak Spanish every day. So in my, in my neighborhood, I speak Spanish with my wife, with a lot of people. So sometimes Spanish does come out um, of my mouth on accident. And I also speak somewhat good Portuguese. I've been talking to some people from Brazil about learning cricket so hopefully we'll have videos on that they're asking me questions and i love brazilian portuguese so yeah i'm not just an american who's taking for granted that you guys are speaking in english in my language i do understand uh you know the the struggle it is to speak a second language i really appreciate it i do want to learn urdu and hindi i actually am um that just blows oh my god okay that blows my mind in Afrikaans and Dutch. Oh my God. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah. I am a linguist. So I love languages. So I'm going to show you, what was I going to show you? My favorite cricketer is uh, Jasper Pamra. Probably the first cricketer I really saw. I thought he was so cute when he would hold the ball like this and then like throw it. And like, he's so freaking good and amazing. I was a pitcher growing up when I played baseball. So obviously a bowler is going to be my favorite player. So Jasper Bumra, Ali Khan, um, Dipendra Singh Airi is like, you know, I, I, it changes a lot, you know. So right now Dipendra Singh Airi um, and, you know, a lot of people on the on the Nepalese cricket team are, are really good. So si hablo español, entonces si quiere hablar conmigo en español, si también me puede escribir un mensaje, lo que sea. So we're going to go into uh, this. I will show you the, uh, this is the Pendra Singh's um, six sixes in a row. Who is this off of? Uh, uh, Khan. Oh, Kamran. Yeah. I don't know why there's no volume here. But yeah. Just... Big shot. Picked it up. 
welcomes Kamran Khan in the final over. And they were at 174 uh, to start the inning, the, the, the over. In the final over of this innings. Really strange choice here, I have to say. For Katara, they've gone to their oh, players. yeah, he just left that hanging, right? Four remaining deliveries of that. He totally left that one hanging. Over, but shorty, you turn to Ikramullah or Mohammed Irshad here, who both have overs left. Instead, they go to the part timer. Defender Singh Iri, it is again. He cashes in. Oh, that one was like a little bit wide. And he, like, he had a struggle to get it. Oh my gosh, crushes it. Halfway towards the main street out at the Oman Cricket Academy. Defender Singh Iri on fire. Well, the Tigers roaring yet again. I just love that. He's a fan I mean, you might as well swing away because you only have like five balls. You cannot give him with and to be honest, I'm not in love with sixes and fours going crazy in T20 cricket. I like the smaller game, but this was fun to watch. He's driving them up towards 200. Still four deliveries left. This is the next one. This time, yeah, that one. That's just straight away. is not letting go. He's gonna make and what are you thinking as a batter in this moment? Like, for the, those like holy crap, I'm, I'm getting... I got three sixes in a row. Like, yeah, just like, what What was he thinking? Bowling it like that, just leaving it hanging. That one actually barely made it. That was close to, to bouncing inside the... Uh, inside the area of play here he's got three sixes in a row what's going on in his mind that's what i want to know and, and the poor bowler like this sucks for him that one was a hard hit like oh my god that one was a really yeah that one was a helicopter shot that looked like very difficult to hit because he had to like it's almost like a yolka and look at these fans dude i keep saying it but like how do you get to oman you know midweek when you're from nepal like it's not cheap and like it's oman i don't know i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i just remembered i have a muffin Two more balls. Can Cameron can find an answer? That one like curved inside a little bit. Yeah. This time around, nearly on to Boom. Number two at the Oman Cricket Academy. Dude, that goes into the other field. I love that. On fire. And so now he's got like five sixes. Like, what's going on in your mind? Yeah, I want to see him in the IPL. Five in a row. He just sent something was if he does good. I would hate to see him do poorly. Look at, look at, it's on the other field, man. That's crazy. And this is the last one. I mean, I, I don't know if he's got so much pressure on himself, but let's see this one. Oh, he crushed that one. That was crushed. It's like he's got, it's like he's hitting a tennis ball. What do you guys think about that? That is, uh, Oh my God! Are going back so, into that dugout with a thunderous, thunderous performance. That makes him um, one of three players to do it. Um, oh, the names are just totally skipping past my head right now. Uh, but uh, he's one of three players to do it. Uh, who are the other two? Oh, I just saw the video of it. Um, Kyron Pollard uh, got one right, and. Um, the third cricketer to achieve this in T20 history. Yeah, Kyron, Yuvraj Singh. Yeah, and people have sent me a lot. Yu Chan sent me that. So Yuvraj Singh, Kyron Pollard, and Dependra, Dependable Dependra Singh. Uh, w one of three people to do that. Holy crap. Um, and then this one is four. Oh, wow. Wow. That's impressive. That's very, very impressive. Oh, I'm not even sharing that part with you. Oh, I'm so horrible. Oh, yes. Yu Chan. You sent me that video. You sent me that video about uh, of you, but I'm seeing, I'm, I'm talking a bunch of uh, trash about Yu Chan. And he's like, here, no. I would never talk, talk trash. Uh, maybe just about RCB, but 
Um, that's kind of a low blow right now, but wow, Kyron, Kyron Pollard and uh, Yuvraj Singh. Uh, so wow, which player do I love from Nepal? It's like saying which which child do you love the most, dude? We talking about they all? I love them all, but one of my favorites. Um, one of my favorites is um, the bowler. Uh, what was his name? Uh, was it Bibek Yadav? Uh, oh, Kushal Bortel. Yeah, I really, I really liked what he's been doing lately. Uh, his batting in that last game uh, was just phenomenal. I, I just really, really liked his uh, his batting. And the whole team. I mean, Lalit Rajbansi uh, has been great too. Um, I just it's just taking a slow process to to fall in love with these guys. Okay, so we're gonna start on the uh, Kahoot. This is based on the AACC Premier Cup, and I have a keto uh, muffin I'm gonna eat. Here's the uh, code. Uh, Slinga Malinga is my favorite uh, Sri Lankan player, of course. So you need to go to kahoot.it and then you need to type in this code just like Harsh did. Harsh, what's your YouTube uh, username, Harsh? This guy makes me laugh so much like on the Discord. Um, just young people antics. Free Palestine. That's okay, but remember... Uh, no, no uh, direct politics. We have people from all walks of life. Okay, Maverick. You probably don't want me blabbing on about Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Be cool. Howdy from Harsh. Oh, that's you? Howdy, Cowboys? Thing it harsh. Australia. I uh, play Australian rules football with my kids, my students sometimes. It's just a perfect game to play with like two or three people. I am going to get a cricket set, but like we'll go in the hallway. We'll have a kick at the footy. Um, You, Jen. It's IPL uh, telecast in the USA. I don't watch TV. I just watch everything online. It works both ways with politics, you know. Um, I wouldn't want someone to say anything, so that's okay right now, but keep that in mind. Not to say you're wrong or you're right. The people. The people. This thing about cricket is the people. Oh, dude, I'm nervous. Um, I wish it was not in two in the morning, but I have this week off of work, which is great. But um, Saudi Arabia is surprising has been surprising so it'll be fun to watch but either way nepal have gone on to the semifinals but um yeah usa is great just stay away from the politics That's actually why I wanted to, yeah, not doing politics. You could you could uh, text me and I'll tell you. But the reason why I did cricket is because sometimes in Washington, D.C., people inject politics into everything. And I just, I hate it because you could be a Democrat and I could be a Republican. It doesn't mean we can't agree on like a ton of things, you know? You could be a Democrat, I could be a Republican, and we could both be like very similar in a lot of things i think politics just separates us so much unnecessarily so yeah i just don't want to be in that but you can email me if you really want to know 
Netherlands first, Scotland second, Nepal third, Namibia fourth. <laughs> I don't know. Gayendra Mala uh, was the first Nepal cricketer I heard of. I wonder if he's a legend back there. Dude, yeah. All right, we got tons of fun here. Onte. We have 11 people so far. Sometimes there's three parties. I don't want to get into politics, but uh, sometimes there's three parties, which I'm a third party kind of advocate because I hate the, the two sides. But typically just two. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm drinking uh, Coke Zero and coffee. Dude, I wonder... I wonder, um, eh, eh, hey, I'm guilty of this too with politics. So don't worry. You're, you're, you know, if you've done that, don't worry. I'm guilty of it myself. Um, so I will get into that. I have that ready. I'm just going to do this. Um, oh, there's too many good comments. Um, bah, bah, bah. um Yep. Yep. I am. You, ch you Chan knows. Um, I don't know. I think, man, I'd love to see Oman do good. I, I want to see Nepal do really good. The United States, like really surprised me with Canada. Um, even though our cricket board absolutely sucks. Um, I don't know, dude. Scotland is going to do terribly. I think Ireland, even though they're tier one, <laughs> Um, is there a limit to people who can be in? Okay, 11. So I'm going to start this in three minutes, whether you're ready or not. No worries if you're just asking for fun. I get it. But like I said, yeah, I'm trying to get away from politics just because I work in D.C. and D.C. is the center of politics. Um, so you're probably not in that center of politics area, so... Uh, probably doesn't come on your mind as much. I think Joey's cutting some caffeine with this diet. Yeah, dude. Okay, this is my microphone. I nudge it a little bit. I want to show you what it looks like. My daughters have put stickers all over it. They just ruined it. So I need a new microphone. Um, Scotland. I talked, I think the T10. Um, <laughs> nice joke. Now do it with your mic on. Ah, this guy's funny. Yeah, USA board is not good. And uh, Faiz, yes, yes. My fellow, my fellow Yank. What are we playing? Oh my God, Sat Satyajit, you don't know what we're playing. This is the greatest game only ever. Uh, we have 13 players, two more minutes, guys. I see, I see it moving, it's hopping. This is about the ACC Premier Cup. It's a game called Who Dis? So a lot of it is like, who are these players? MLS is great, dude. MLS grew like fantastic. And NBA kind of, I don't like what the NBA used to be or, or has become. Growing up in the in the 2000s, like NBA was awesome. Um, the goal is to beat um, Utsav in this game. But although this is not his specialty. So, all right, guys, I'm starting in 30 seconds, whether you like it or not. And, and you, Chan, I'll probably steal in one of your uh, cahoots later. USA needs to get African Americans and Caribbean Americans into cricket. Yeah, 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 I agree. There is a cricket team in, um, in, um, 
in California in um, Compton, Compton, California, very African American city, and um, I should do a video on them. Okay, I'm starting. I don't care. Join late if you want to. Join late. Our players really good. Our players are good. Our board stinks. Okay, this is the first question. ACC Premier Cup serves as qualification for what tournament? The 2025 Asian Cup, the 2024 Asia Cup, the 2024 Asian Cup, the 2025 Asia Cup. Reading, my friends, reading. Yes, the 2025 Asia Cup. Let's see who is in the start here. Tiger. Tiger uh, Sing ID. Okay, who this? Who this? Let's see how well you know your uh, ACC Premier Cup. Who this? I'm gonna go watch me dance too. Do, 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 do. I have like commercials now in my videos. I hope that doesn't mess anything up. Let me know if that does. Oh yeah, Mohammed Tanvir. Mohammed Tanvir. Uh, he's been really, really good. He's a captain for uh, Qatar, and Qatar has been surprising us. Um, in this tournament they've been doing much better than i than i expected them to so hats off to qatar they're in second place with two wins two losses be cool with the with the earth i love that uh here's my next question um who dis he's from the uae for sure Yes, that's Ali Shan Sharafu. Um, he was the player of the match against uh, Kuwait. He went 90 runs off of uh, 48 balls. So he has been very, very, very good for uh, UAE. Yes, we have Be Cool in front with Kiran Amit, uh, Yu Chan, and Tiger. Dependable, dependable. Okay, here's my next question. My next question is this. Who this? I love this guy. Washington Freedom, baby. Washington Freedom is my... I, I, I'm not really big on the M ML... Let's see right now. I'm I'm upset with our cricket board. Man, you guys stink. This is Virandeep Singh. Yeah, he's been awesome. Um, my new new favorite player in this entire tournament, I would say, is Virandeep Singh. Um, he's just been fundamental for uh Malaysia. So I would love to see him in a tournament uh outside of uh, like a domestic tournament. Who dis? Who this? Doesn't have any sugar in it. Don't don't get on my butt about it. My question is simple. Who this? Who this? Yes, that's Nazakat Khan. He was a player of the match against Qatar. Uh, he went 59 off of 37 balls. So he's been very, very good. I love, uh, someone here says, why do you support Canada so much? Because I love Canada. I've lived in Canada. My best friend growing up was from Canada. Um, I grew up very, very close to Canada, like 10 minutes from the border. So maybe that's why. Um, I'm a northerner. Um, I'm not originally from Washington, D.C., so 
I've always felt like part Canadian too. I don't like the current government, but that's another thing. Yep, not nah, no politics. Oh, okay. Uh, here's my next question. Who this? Maniscalco? Okay. Because Canada's weird. Okay, harsh. Who this? Who this? Who this? Yeah, when it comes to USA Canada, like we're gonna whoop their butts. Yeah, that's Haider he Butt, and he is the captain for uh, Bahrain. Man, nobody's getting these. You guys gotta catch up. You gotta watch more of my videos. Oh my gosh, I do not see you, Chan, anywhere. Enjoy it while it lasts, guys, because the next one is like on um, IPL or something. Okay, here's the next question. Very, very important question. Who dis? Yes, I can't. Um, I didn't get tickets to that. Did not get tickets. And that's... I didn't get tickets. Is that in New York? I forget. Yes, that's Gayan Munawira, and he was the man of the match against uh, Saudi Arabia. He plays for Qatar. Uh, he had two wickets and only gave up uh, 27 runs, so he was uh, phenomenal for Qatar. Man, Tigers coming in first. We got the Thrasher. Okay, this is multi-select. Which teams are eliminated from tournament semifinals? I do have Nepali players. It's just random. I do have Nepali players. The next, the next Kahoot, the next one's going to be like more common knowledge. Bahrain and Cambodia. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. I wish I could control it. Anyway, yeah. landlord. <laughs> Why landlord? Sudeep, the G O A T. You were the goat yesterday with those uh, suggestions. How old is dependable Dependra Singh Aidi? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh. Uh. Mente cuatro años de edad. Yeah, 24 years old. Um, man, he's young. I've almost been married longer than he's been alive. Okay, uh, I've been married 14 years, so I am. Oman is the first in Group B. Rank the other four teams from highest to lowest. Just so you know, that's Kuwait, that's UAE. Sorry about the colors, but just so you know. Don't worry about the colors, just so you know the countries. Yeah, you are. You're terrible. It's good to lose really bad sometimes. It keeps you uh, keeps you level headed. I almost might be better at that than you, which is crazy to think about. Yeah, so we have um, in second place that is uh, Kuwait. Third place, interesting enough, is um, United Arab Emirates. Then we have Bahrain and Cambodia, which are eliminated from contention. Mm -hmm. Cambodia have been terrible this game, but um, hopefully it's been a learning experience for them. Be cool. No one can stop this guy. Okay, so have you joined the Discord yet? 
Have you joined the Discord yet? It's just yes. I have or no. I've sinned against my people. I don't take anything Joey says seriously. I don't care about having fun. I don't care about enjoying myself. My life is, is boring. Uh, let me check that podcast out. I can't, I can't, I'll go back and listen to the comments. Yeah. So have you joined the discord yet? I just want to say, uh, I got a link to join the Discord. Can someone post a link to join the Discord? It is really, really fun. We'd love to have you here. It's not a super, super serious Discord, but um, I am on there uh, regularly. We have a lot of fun, and I can't find my other uh, page for the Kahoot. Uh, so we would love to have you there. Uh, who dat? Who dat? You should know this one. Let's scribble. Oh, I should just write it down. Hold it, Sajith. Hold it. A uh, scribble? Harsh cracks me up, dude. But sometimes he runs his mouth a little too much and he gets he gets kicked out of YouTube channels. Um, I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but I think that's hilarious. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's Zishan uh, Maksud. And he is the uh, cap captain of Oman. So we definitely need to be aware of this big guy. He looks totally different without a beard. Who dis? He told me, I think I, yeah, I'm trying to get in your personal business. I thought it was hilarious. Um, I thought it was just so funny. Um, just like run in his mouth, dude. Um, yeah, that's Akib uh, Ilyas. Uh, been great um, uh, for, uh, uh, cut that. oh, what, what, what? Uh, Oman, yeah, Oman. Okay. I've been doing too many things at once. No one's going to catch Be Cool. Who? I promise I have more Nepali ones. How do you find the, the song, bro? Can you uh, email me? Email me. Uh, I know. Dude, I need a new microphone. Uh, newworldcricket at gmail.com. I need uh, DK Youngblood here helping me. But he's camera shy. We agreed once I got, uh, once we got 20K subscribers that he would go on these. So that's my goal. Um, yes, there are multiple extra Kahoot quizzes. Which two teams qualified for the Premier Cup through the ACC Challenger Cup? Give me a raid, please, too. I don't know what you mean by that. It's Arabi Saudi and Cambodia. Okay, this is pretty much a done deal. Who dis? I know you're kind of disappointed with the uh, Nepali players, but I thought it was uh, too obvious. I should just done more Nepali. Yeah, Dipto Kumar. Nobody's going to get this one. You should be on here with me. Guys, this is the guy who does a lot of like the really good editing on like the uh, Cambodia, Nepal video. 
Yeah, that's Akil Wahid. Um, he was a surprise entrance into the tournament, but he was the man of the match. Um, okay, double points. Nepal is in first place, ranked the other teams in Group A from highest to lowest. No, I need you on this. I need you with me. You should be here. Uh, but yeah, DK Youngblood is is great. He um, he makes some thumbnails. He does the shorts. Um, that video we did uh, about uh, the greatest captain, like he basically did the whole video. I just it was my face, but he did everything else. Like I, it was my voice, but he recorded everything. So I mean. You might be shouting out something I thinking I did it, but he, he, he might have done it. So invaluable. Yeah, I love Jared Kimber. I love to dance too. Scribble. I looked that up. I, I don't know what scribble is. Oh, I know. I, I, shulk, I, I know, dude. I feel bad. Who this? I do have one question about the pen dressing ID. And then finally, okay. I know I put three questions. We're going to do a Nepal specific one. I, I hear your I hear your comment though. Okay, it's not in vain. Oh, Australia, dude, I love this guy, Abhinash Bohara. Yeah, that was the guy I was thinking of. I just thought nothing of him when he joined the uh, uh, the, the squad, but uh, I just love his bowling style. Uh, just like boom, like a rocket from his hand. I was really really happy with him. Of course, as fate would have it, all the Nepal questions are at the end. I met him in Washington, D.C. Uh, a couple months ago when I took this picture. This is a real picture. I'm sorry, Ashok. Yes, Rohit Baldel and me. We met in person in Washington, D.C. Uh, well, this is about ACC Premier Cup, so no. Okay, last two questions. Who this? Yeah, it was Abinash. Yep. Yes, thank you. This is why Usopp's my friend because. He uh, just agrees with me blindly instead of like pressing me to actually be honest. Uh, I joke a lot. Yes, Lokman, but uh, the captain, uh, the captain for Cambodia, they've done terribly. Last question. Who did Dipendra Singh Airi hit the six sixes off of? Oh, another Nepal question. Thank you. Harsh agrees with me blindly instead of, you know, instead of questioning me. That's why he's my friend. I don't like people questioning me. Yeah, Kamran Khan. I really feel bad for those bowlers um, that get rocked like that. Okay, let's see who is in first place. We have uh, Kiran, number one, Sudeep, the G-O-A-T. And we have in first place, Be Cool. Be Cool, if you want to send me, uh, I wish I could send you something. Uh, let me know what you think the, uh, the prizes should be. Maybe in the future I could send a hat or something. Actually, I don't know. Sending that to like other countries like Nepal might be really expensive. But maybe there's something I could do in the future. Um, okay, now IPL questions. Uh, be cool is be cool. Psych. Okay. Uh, I almost pressed end stream. That would have been terrible. Uh, so I'm going to 
boots off. I'm going to use your quiz, bro. I uh, hope you don't mind. But if you do, uh, I'm going to use it. Sorry. Uh, but we're going to do this quiz next. Entonces, um, this is based off of IPL, I, I think. I'm get, I gotta get sick of the, the Kahoot music. I gotta I gotta um, tinkle and um, okay. Actually, I do need a little bit of music. You guys are so fast. Um, sorry. Excuse me. You had two quizzes, like really good quizzes. Um, which one is this called? Um, I can't check right now. Um, okay, I will be. I will be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. So much fun. This is too much fun. Um, how to join Kahoot? Good question. So you want to go to Kahoot.it and then put in this code 935538. Oh, dude. Such a Jeet. Such a uh, that's terrible. Eighth place. We're going to need you to do way better than that next time. That is completely unacceptable. Yeah. So Akash, I wrote the directions there. Let me show you really quickly. Oh, you can scan the QR code to heal. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah. I never noticed those QR codes. Um, guys are freaking smart too um okay they have me um so i'm gonna run out of battery uh okay um 14 15 people oh my oh my goodness uh Akash, did you get in? Yeah, I know it was hit and miss, but um, eighth place is completely unacceptable. Satya G. Okay, this was made for Indian cricket nerds. So, but still, I think a lot of these are, are fair game. Uh, why did you put the pre post on again? Okay, so QR to Indian is a common thing. What does that mean? Mm, the QR codes. Yeah. You still are really smart though. Um, Jaspit Brambra, um, Atindra Subramanian in the United States U19 team. Uh, Dipendra Singh Aire is my new favorite player. Um, and then also for, uh, for Malaysia, Vedandeep Singh is like freaking amazing. Um, Oh, there's so many I just can't like come to my mind. I'm still developing things. Um, uh, yeah, he is from Mars. Um, there's actually a small amount of like people don't know this that like a colony of people that live there. Um, we don't really talk about it, but he was born there, but technically he like kind of grew up in India too. So did you get in? Okay, I would hate for you not to be in. He said he said he was from Mars, BD. Um, 
Okay, yes, uh, Ashok. And and I took your uh, feedback. Your feedback is well noted. Watching IPL on other screen. Yeah, man. Um, USA should pick uh, Agni Chopra on their team. Dude, go to Peter De La Pena uh, Facebook page. He is a USA uh, cricketer, cricketing uh, journalist. He talks a lot about the problems with USA Cricket's board, uh, our national governing body, and all the problems that they have. We should have picked a lot of players that we didn't because the national governing body is terrible. They are going to get immediately suspended after the World Cup and hopefully expelled when we could start uh, from, from scratch because there are a lot of, lot of, lot of problems. So it's really holding us back. And it's like, I love the players so much, but yeah. Check, check out my channel, but he, he documents it like in, way better than I could. Sportica is a good, yeah, Sportica is weird though, because, um, yeah, I like sport. Is that an American guy too? Okay. I'm going to start in 20 seconds. Got my coffee with my uh heavy whipping cream no sugar keto friendly yes i totally agree india is totally jealous totally totally jealous someone's calling me they can join the kahoot too okay yeah fair enough i see Yeah, I love the uh, 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 I love the West Indies. They, you know, it, it hurts my heart to see them so poor, doing so poorly. Seventeen uh, personas aquí. Utsops quiz. Oh, da 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 da. Utsops quiz. Only three players have scored a hundreds for Kakala Night Riders. True or false? State your question or state your answer here, sir. Yeah, it's it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, itch so bad. False. Only four of you. Let's see who has disappointed me. Amit, why did you get that wrong? Come on. Harsh got it right. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need way better from you this time, Harsh. Which RCB player became man of the match in an IPL final? Ah, bestia. Okay. Anil Kumbel. Anil Kumbel. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see it. Let's see it. Joey. Oh, am I playing? Maybe, maybe. Ian Botham, a legendary all-rounder, played for which country? Yeah, he, he admitted it. But hey, man, first rule of Kahoot is is sometimes the questions can be wrong. England, jolly old England. You would expect somebody named Ian Botham to be from England, of course. Be cool. Oh, you can't stop this guy. Be cool. I control the quiz. Kumar Sang Sang Sangkara. Sangakara. Yeah, I know. My my microphone stinks. If I nudge it a little bit, it it mutes. Cause my daughters do their like, you know, Asit Cha Taylor Swift concerts with my, my microphone. How many players were banned from the sandpaper gate? Oh, I know this one. 
Here, I'll put my answer right here. Dude, don't put the answer, Flax. Come on. Ha. Right there, baby. I knew that one. Just a little bit of sandpaper. Oh, be cool. Come on, man. Be in first place. Which of the following are not married to a Bollywood actress? You should technically use is because it has to agree with the subject, which is singular. Okay, I don't, I'm a linguistic person. Okay, sorry. I'm not saying you're not smarter than me. Okay, Rohit Sharma. Oh, yeah. Rohit Sharma. Big, big guy. I bet his wife's pretty hot, though. Um, how is this cricket? Um, well, it's a quiz called Kahoot. We can't play cricket on the computer because that would be really hard. I mean, we try. The only team to have a better head-to-head -head against CSK at Chip Chipauk. Okay, let me look that up, bro. Club. I hate the word prairie because I don't know how to spell it ever. Mumbai Indians. Come on, someone stop. Uh, someone stop this guy. Who was the player of the tournament of the 2020 World Cup? Club Prairie Fire. It's like A I R I E. Oh man, I don't know. Whenever I see Chris Gale, I always say Chris Gale. Shahid Afridi. Well, I'm Afridi. You got that question wrong. Amit, all right. Now we have a puzzle. Arrange them on the basis of when did they win the Champions League? Oh, that's a tough one, bro. There's so many podcasts and stuff, it's hard to keep up, but I will definitely look into that one job in. Jobin or Jobin? Or Jobin. In Spanish, you'd be Jobin. Mi amigo Jobin. El es mi amigo. This muffin? I know, bro. Okay, so there's ads. Like, let me know. Not that I care that Harsh, it's happening to Harsh, because I don't. Um, but anyone else, let me know. Harsh can watch all the commercials. Hopefully you understand my humor. Um, so it's New South Wales Blues, Chennai Super Kings, Mumbai Indians, and Sydney Sixers. They're talking about um, bringing that back. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, meets on fire. Who was Moral... Mulari Taran's 800th test wicket. Holy crap, 800. Okay, Pragyan Oja. I wish cricket Champions League was as good as football, real football. Um, I, dude, I mean, NFL is such a good competition, but I don't think the Champions League, which is soccer, compares to the NFL. I don't know. Um, let me get a comment here. Thank you for blindly agreeing with me and not saying what you really think. Um you said this was easy. I did not say it was easy, Sahid. You played cricket game, not quiz. Oh, okay. All right. Play cricket game, not quiz. I will look into that next time, mate. Play. I'm taking notes. 
Who won the purple cap in IPL 2008? Play cricket game. Maybe there's a way we could all play together, you know? That would be so much fun. Uh, oh, that would be so cool. If we could all play like a video game together, you know? And like, I don't know. You should say, I wish Cricket Champions League was still there. Yeah. I don't. I don't want the Cricket Champions League. I think we need to figure out the problems with... Um, yes, there's another quiz after this. Um, okay, so Sohail Tanvir. I think I think we need to figure out the problems with domestic cricket because there are just too many issues. Yeah, right? It was always garbage. Who holds the record of scoring the most runs in one over in a test match? Chris Gale. Uh, let me look into that. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm like, who is this? Don Bradman cricket 14. Awesome. I Lorraine, sir. So formal. You could say I could set it up. Bumra. Who took the first hat trick in IPL history? Um, I love video games, but I just never have the time to play them. Uh, Laksh Lakshmipathi Balaji. That's a cool name. I think the word hat trick does come from cricket, which is cool because we use that in hockey. We use that in um, other sports, and it was um, and uh, it was from cricket. Yeah, Asicha, no excuses. We want to see you win. So if you're going to make excuses, just I want to see you in the top five by the end of this by the end of this quiz. I'm joking, by the way. That's just my American humor. Brad Hawk. Cool. How old was he? Minusalpa. Minusalpa or Min Minusalpa is on fire. This is what I want from all you guys. Um, oh, that's a tough question. There is one. It was like uh, Mumbai Indians came back to win it at the end um, because of Kyron Pollard in like 2021. Uh, I got to find out the exact one. Before joining RCB, AB de Villiers played for which IPL team? Delhi Daredevils. Do you guys wear like a retro gear? You know, like how cool would that be to have like a Delhi Daredevils hat? Uh, I think that would be cool. Elise Perry was a national hockey player for Australia before playing cricket. True or false? Assuming this is field hockey and not like real ice hockey. Uh, hockey is, is an awesome game, by the way. Badass game. Like, it seems kind of dangerous with a stick. But gr growing up in the United States, hockey is seen as, like, a female sport, field hockey. Um, but it is awesome. I, what, sometimes I, I, I have the idea, like, we should do another channel where we talk about sports like field hockey, you know, rugby, stuff like that. At which venue did CSK win its first IPL? She played football, real one. Oh man, I never know if girls play in football. And yes, I will, I, I will, I will confuse that word for the rest of my life. I don't care. Oh, Juan Kitty Stadium. Just to spite you, you Chad. Just to spite you. Oh, no one got that one. I'm disappointed. Nimble Possum, what are you doing in fifth place? We want to see you get better. Come on. I need you in the top three. Who has taken the most wickets for India in the ICC Champions Trophy? Man, I have no idea. She played football, but how do you... She scored a field goal? So she was a kicker. Uh, 
Thank you, Titans Uncaged. Release the Titans. I, I really appreciate that, guys. Ravindra Jadeja. Oh, he's great, right? Nimble Possum moving on up. Where did India win the 2008 U19 World Cup? Great question. Jadeja. I just, sometimes you talk so much and just the words stop coming out right. And then I finish this stream and my wife wants to talk to me and I'm like, oh, I'm done talking. Malaysia. Oh, nice. One of my new favorite countries besides uh, Nepal is Malaysia. Which of the following English players from the 2019 World Cup are of English origin? Ooh, I remember this. I think I did this. Um, yeah, no spoilers. Are you going to get a timeout? Um, you have to sit in the corner for five minutes and you have to take pictures to prove it. Josh Butler. Yeah, because Ian Morgan is Irish, but he's just ashamed of, to be Irish. That's why he played for England. Um, so all the all the things England did to Ireland to oppress them, and then you know nowadays we just now just play for England, whatever. I don't know, not a big deal. Uh, Mitch Stark's brother is an Olympian who plays. This is a good quiz, man. I see. Can you please stop writing the answers? Yeah, I, I would appreciate that. It's just a favor for, for you, Chan. I, I ask my students that sometimes. I'm like, just like, can you please stop running in the hall? Just like being like really just down to earth. Uh, high jump. Wow, that's cool. Good question. Before 2023 World Cup, the last and only century by Kiwi player against India in a World Cup was. Oh my, my nose is just. He's not crying, he's just, he's just asking nicely. I'm going to cry. Because my friends are arguing. Glenn Turner. Cool. Sam Curran's dad played for which country? Oh, this is a good good question. Sam Curran is from England. I could say that, right? Zimbabwe. That's cool. Okay, last two questions. Which of the following? Um, never Captain Kings 11 Punjab or Punjab Kings? Probably not Glenn Maxwell. Uh, Sean Marsh. Cool. Um, and El Ultimo, the last question before IPL 2023, the last time Kolkata Knight Riders beat Chennai Super Kings at Chipauk was in IPL 2012 finals. True or false? These are great questions. They, they probably take a long time to, you know, come up with. True. Very true. Or false. I, I, oh, man. Sorry. Sudeep, Amit, and Minusalpa. Good job. Yes. Okay. I'll have to figure out a prize for next time. Like, um, I don't know. Like I could give you a membership to the channel for like, you know, uh, a month. Like not that anyone would really want that, but. Yeah, you missed the podium, B pool. No, it's not it's not damn I missed the podium. It's like you should be ashamed of yourself. You're missing the podium. 
there's other people on the podium and, and you're just not there now. So no, it's okay. Um, I like to joke. Okay. So that was fun. We're going to play, uh, one more, uh, Kahoot, but antes de hacer eso, before we do that, I want to go over one thing and that is talk about the stadiums. Um, do I have another Kahoot that I could go to? Okay. Get okay. So we're going to talk about the ICC, um, I actually want to use this for the main channel so I don't have to like make a new video. Where do you see your channel at the end of 2024? Well, I see it on YouTube probably. I mean, unless they change to Rumble or another platform, I'll definitely see it on YouTube with my eyeballs like this. Um, update over World Cup preparation. Okay, yes, I'm going to two matches. I'm going to Ireland versus Canada, and I'm also going to Bangladesh versus uh, South Africa. Now you're probably thinking, why did you go over those two matches? You know, why, why? Because at the time, I thought I wasn't going to get tickets, so I bought tickets for, for whichever matches I could find. Second, I'm poor. Okay, I'm in my daughter's room. Okay, I don't have an extra room. To record, uh, I live in a very modest, small house, and so things. It's, it's not like I could just buy as many tickets as I want to go somewhere. It's difficult for me. Okay, people think Americans are just like super rich, and it's not true for me. Although I'm, I'm not poor, but a lot of my money goes to my three kids. My wife spends all my money, so and also. Um, yeah, I work, so I had to take off time from work. So I needed two games back to back. <clears throat> so those are the two games I got. The USA versus Canada is sold out. India versus Pakistan sold out. We'll see what we can do. Maybe I'll go there before. Maybe I find somebody. I don't know. There's always things that come up. I'm getting to know a lot of cricket people. And so they've been writing me, texting me. Um, and so hopefully uh, your question was, where do you see this channel at the end of the year? I mean, I started this channel. Let me, let me talk about this real quick. I started this channel. Um, I started this channel at the end of June. My son was being born. Uh, he, he was, my wife was like nine months pregnant. I had a rugby channel. Um, and my rugby channel is called New World Rugby. And I just wasn't getting the um, the kind of engagement that I wanted out of New World Rugby. And so if you go to New World Rugby, I only have 457 subscribers. But I would make really, really detailed videos. And I hope to do that one time with eventually with cricket. Um, but if you look here. It resembled a lot of what early football was in England. The very game, very detailed and, videos. and i even use um Ballone, ai ballone i swear to god there were no concrete rules there were numerous games that would last for weeks and so like researched ball. i looked up articles i studied games um so i had like really really good uh, videos like that but look at this really i would pour my support. heart into this and look at 669 views and like like, look at this comment. Balloon is like, like, like the comments suck. Okay. And so I made other videos like this one. I put my heart and soul into this. And for the longest time, it, it, it just had like a couple hundred views. Like origin is peak football. Like, look at these. Like the comments were not very like insightful. Uh, if you look up Paris Saint-Germain Rugby League, uh, my video comes up in the... Um, in the uh the search results right so like look paris saint germain rugby league see my video comes up my video comes up so but but if you overall like i can't keep doing a rugby channel when i get you know such little engagement um and so I didn't want to do news. I wanted to make, you know, like detailed history videos. And so I did that with this one, 2000 views. And it's just disappointing. Not only just disappointing in that, in that sense, but it was disappointing in terms of like 
the kind of questions I was getting, the kinds of engagement I was getting. A lot of people commented on my accent, like you're a yank. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to make a video on cricket. I, I watched cricket. I really liked cricket. And so that's what I decided to do. And if you looked at my channel before, it was way different. Before uh, DK Youngblood made this amazing thing and this amazing thing. He's just wonderful. I love this guy. So this was the first video I did. And it was the same thumbnail I had for a rugby video um, or a video I did in Spanish. Some pretty cool names here. Um, so I just a made a regular old video. I'm learning. Um, and I didn't get much. Oh, I said, gee, didn't get much engagement with this one. But I did the next one. And I got a lot of comments. And I really like reading the comments. But they were so supportive and so like um like well thought out i was getting comments with like people like really really thinking of stuff which i really wanted and so uh i think the first one i did that blew up was was like this one or this one and i just love talking about this stuff um but like i got like from him like a youtuber wrote me the niche man um like look at how supportive this comment is um and I just, you kind of need that when you're making stuff. Like I never got this with rugby. I never got this with rugby. And like, you have this guy writing detailed comments from all over the world, Nick Swerve. Look at how long his comments are. And so that's just something I wanted. Like I want to engage people. I want to be part of a community. And so I was thinking to myself, like if I keep doing rugby videos, I'm not really going to be part of a bigger community, even though rugby it's got a better system in the United States. So, um, so I just started making videos on, on, on cricket and I guess the rest is history. I mean, so my first video was at the end of June, um, this one. And so it's only been nine months. And so I have like 2.27 subscribers of which I am grateful for every one of you. Yeah, I love you guys so much. I really do. Um, but, um, oh, I got to share my screen. I'm horrible at that. Yes. So where do I see myself at the end of the year? That would be what, like eight months. So if I can do this in like eight months, like what else could I do in eight months? I mean, I don't know. I want to, um, make a living doing this. I work in schools, but I want to like, you know, as I get older, do, do this full time. This is so much fun. So my goal is to get 20,000 subscribers. So, um, so DK Youngblood will have to come on this uh, stream with me. He's my number two guy. Um, and I just want to engage more people and just be like, make it easier. So I understand cricket better. So every day I'm working at it. Even if I'm not making videos, I'm studying, I'm working at it. So we're going to talk about uh, this, the update of the stadium in ICC Nassau uh, cricket stadium. So this is from uh, from a page. Uh, it's actually part of Eisenhower State Park. Um, and see, you have the background here. This is outside of New York. This is like in Long Island. So you can see a lot of it's done already. Not sure which end this is. But that, that that's them putting it together. This was made uh, nine days ago. They're kind of like getting the field. They're going to drop the field from a place in Florida. And I think they originally got uh, parts of the field from Australia or from an Australian company. This is an Australian company building it. Um, so, yeah, you could really see the development of it there. Um, Roaming with Wakar uh, also makes videos. Oh, look at that. That's carb heavy uh, bun right there. So he's going to talk about um, his, I don't think he speaks in English. Check him out. Give him a like and subscribe. Um, that's roaming with Wakar if you like that. So he's going to go from New Jersey all the way to here. And that's a hell of a drive. Look at how much traffic. It is not fun driving in New York. This is downtown New York right here. So that's his drive. And yeah, very, very suburban right now. So he's going to drive all the way.
going through a landfill. Ew. And so this is, yeah, this is driving to New York. Not a fun drive, in my opinion. And this is what the park looked like. Yep, it's called Eisenhower Park. Dwight D. Eisenhower was a president of the United States. And this is not in um, uh, the city of New York County. It's in, in a county called Nassau. So that's it. <laughs> you can see that's what the field was like before. Um, nothing wrong with that, right? But um, I mean, for an ICC uh, World Cup match, it is. So now he's coming into the field right here. And um, yeah, you could tell it's much, much more developed. This video was made eight days ago. So yeah, they're, con they're building it. A lot of people were protesting because they did use outside workers from California and Canada. It's an Australian company setting this up and New Yorkers are in a really bad place right now. And they were, you know, protesting that they wanted local New Yorkers. If you could imagine having a local park that was really small. I mean, this is just a local regular park. And then a bunch of people from outside your country and outside your state start building this huge complex. It probably pissed you off too. And it's like, at least if you're going to do this, um, like let us local people be part of building it. We need jobs right now. And so that's my, a big problem I have with the ICC and the United States cricket um, uh, board is, is that they pay no attention to the needs of the local community. And that's why a lot of um, people in the United States are like, uh, this makes them like angry at cricket. Cause it's like, we don't even watch cricket. What is this? And you're building this huge stadium here without our approval. Um, there was a stadium trying to be built in the Washington DC area and the people um, uh, found a way to cancel the project. Um, and it makes sense because they don't like how it's being built. Um, they don't understand the need for cricket. So it's just too big, too fast. Like I'd rather it be slow, a slow process. But anyway, that's what he's doing here. And that's what New York looks like at nighttime. And then this guy, five days ago, Bahas Cricket Channel official, um, he's like down and dirty with it and uh this looks really really much more developed and you can see there june 3rd through 12th is the world cup um but i mean look it's not a big city area so i wonder what kind of traffic that's going to bring uh, or if they can handle it i don't think anyone knows or cares you know um this is just a regular local park um and they're building this huge stadium here uh, I mean, it's harder to build a cricket field. You need a lot more space than, you know, than other, you know, other types of sports. And, but, but luckily this is only temporary and yeah. So that's what it's going to be looking like. And so we'll give you updates as we, as we get to it. Um, but that was that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to read some of your comments here. Um, I hope you get uh, 200,000 soon. Yeah, thanks. The the, the stadium's going to be uh, permanent, but the stands are going to be somewhat temporary. I think it's only going to be like 6,000 um, people uh, total. You know your Nepali fans are craziest. Yeah, man, I'm not denying that ever. All of your videos uh, related to Nepal cricket are doing great. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Namaskar. Thank you, guys. Um my suggestion is this. Tell me your suggestion. Um, Eisenhower was the th 34th president. Yes, correct. He was a decent president, Republican. Uh, we're not talking about politics, though. Um, I believe shorts can bring many new viewers. Yeah, me and DK Youngblood are working on that. I got a really good um, uh, suggestion from Sudeep. Um, yeah. Um, please read comment. Rich Raj, can you, can you post that again? I didn't see it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Nepali fans are crazy, but I kind of want this to be, you know, about everything. I don't want to just focus on Nepal, although I do love Nepal very much. I also need to talk about United States cricket. Uh, there's other communities that we want to talk about. 
but yeah, I mean, the, the goal here is to, is not just to be really popular. I mean, that would be great, but I also want to do right by my viewers who have followed me from the beginning. So I wouldn't want to alienate them and just make completely videos about Nepal because they're expecting something different. So yeah, I'll make cricket videos about every country. Uh, I, I, the more I've been doing this, the more I want to focus on tier two nations. I'm really falling in love with Nepal, obviously. I love United States and Canada. I watch every match like completely. Um, and then maybe some of the lower uh, tier one nations like Ireland, Bangladesh. I don't know. Lately, Bangladesh. I, I'm interested in Bangladesh. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, Ajit, uh, thanks for coming on, man. I remember that Ali Khan watched one of USA Canada matches as a spectator in Prairie View. Remember that Ali Khan watched. Um, oh, cool. Nepal cricket is the max fix thing. If the board doesn't get corrupted, all the best to you guys. Such passion. Yeah, I mean, nobody's doubting that. that Nepal is like insane. Um, okay, I'm going to cover some of these comments, but does anybody want me to do another Kahoot? I can do one more Kahoot if you want me to. Um. A really short one, or should we just be done? Um, I think we just be done. If there's any questions you guys want to ask me, I now is the time. Thanks, Utsaf, for, for helping with the chat. Um, oh, I would love that. I mean, with, with our cricket board, and let me let me just show instead of doing this, let me just show share with you. I'm gonna go to Pita de la Pena. You need to go to his channel and check out specifically the issues uh, that we're having. So his name is Pita de la Pena. He's on Facebook. He's also on Twitter. Um, so he comments on the United States board, uh, how terrible they are. But you really need to dig through his uh, Facebook page. Uh, again, his name is Pita de la Pena. Um, and he's, he, he knows the fans by name. He knows the players by name. He takes notes on every game. I mean, he's basically been to every game for the past 10 years. Um, he talked about how there was a scoring issue with the Canadian versus United States game and how Canada is going to make a complaint to the ICC. I didn't see this news posted anywhere other than Peter de la Pena. Um, so like, he's like, if you follow United States cricket, he is an absolute must. He was the one who found out the discrepancy with the scoring. So, I mean, uh, you have, you have to follow him. You have to follow him. There's no other, there's no other thing you can do other than follow him. Um, cricket found you, Joey, keep doing the good work. Yeah. I love, I love the community. People say, what's the best thing about cricket? The people, the people, by far, you people, you people, I mean, the people are the best part of this. And it started with, you know, a lot of people from India, from Pakistan, from Sri Lanka, um, from Bangladesh, and it grew from there. But I mean, I just really enjoy talking to you guys. You're easy to talk to. Very, very easy to talk to and down to earth. You could easily pass 100,000 if you alone make videos on IPL, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. But if, you're true, but if you want true audience, they'll go for it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, both of our uh, channels start at the exact same time. Yeah, I know. We're kind of like twins in that way. Except I'm old and tired. Um, I predict the traditional eight. We'll go to the Super 8. Yeah. Pita de la Pena should be on the... Yeah, he really should. He really should. I mean, he's got a great mind. I mean, the best mind for USA Cricket. I mean, whatever happens, he should be advising people about what to do. I mean, he absolutely... If I was running USA Cricket, which I never would, I'd have Peter de la Pena on speed dial. Um, A lot of other people too, but, but Peter de la Pena for sure. Um... What opening pair would you go for? Oh man, Monak Patel and Steven Taylor for sure. And I like Aaron Jones in the in the number three spot. Um, I've liked how we batted. Um, and, and I really like the opening of Monak Patel number one and Steven Taylor number two. 
Utah, bro, what's your opinion? How many player, how many years needed for Nepal to be a full member? I, I think I think the issues with Nepal is like geographical, finding more um, cricket stadiums, finding a better way to connect the country. And if you watch the um, history of cricket in Nepal video that I have on my channel, like that was a problem at the beginning. Just transportation to the center of Kathmandu. Um, so I think that's the main issue with Nepalese cricket. The passion's there and yeah, I don't know. There's probably other stuff. It's really hard to find information on Nepal too, because they don't post it online. Someone needs to like take a picture of a, of a newspaper in Nepal. I don't know. Send it to me. My, tell me your prediction. Amit, please tell me your prediction. I need to know your prediction. Does Un, Un Chan? Yeah, so this is a problem with the cricket board. And so you have to follow Pita de la Pena. You have to follow Peter de la Pena. Okay. This guy right here, because he talks about this in his channel. There's a lot of corruption in the United States board. I think you, this is my opinion. United States cricket and India cricket board communicated. India cricket board don't want people leaving India and going to other countries to play. So that's why there was like, you know, we're not going to put them on the team as a favor to BCCI or something like that because they don't want to set a precedent of like, okay, you do really good on the U19 team, but you're going to quit India and then travel to another country and immediately play because he should be on the team. I, although lately he hasn't been good. So I don't know. PDP would know better than me, you know? Associates among associates, Nepal is the best audience, but the talent and performance led by Scotland and Netherlands. I don't like Scotland anymore. Like, I think they stink. And um, Netherlands is good. I got a new uh, girl right now, uh, Nepal. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not big on Scotland right now. If you ever come to Nepal and do the commentary with our beloved Andrew Leonard, then from the uh, moment, oh, then the moment you'll be, <laughs> okay, I would love that. Yeah. Um, Andrew Leonard. Is he from Nepal? Natish Kumar at four. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're ending things. Uh, my prediction for Group A, India, Pakistan. Um, yeah, let's go over that real quick. Yeah, being a full member should not be your objective. Yeah, I agree with this. The only objective should be to grow a massive audience for cricket. ICC is hungry and starving. Yes, I agree with that. Because, like, what's the point of getting a full member? I mean, if you get more money, that'd be great. But I'd like to see countries like Nepal grow domestic cricket, make their own money on cricket, set up a program so young people can grow up and play cricket and, and get really, really good at it and set up a huge fan base, like, even bigger than it is now. So it's easier to be a fan. Because if you think about sports like uh, American football here or basketball, it's in part of the culture. It's ingrained. So we have people going to schools regularly, checking for talent. It's easy to go to certain games. Um, the ease to watch NBA, NFL, NHL, uh, MLB, those sports in the United States, is super easy. So I think just ingraining it in part of the culture, um, doing programs for young peoples in schools, helping the community. The, the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, ICC, you know, uh, validation is not as important as I thought it was. Um, yeah, yeah. Corey Anderson really was good in Andrew's house. So, yes, Monak Patel, Steven Taylor for sure. And then Aaron Jones in Andrew's house is number four. And then you have uh, Corey Anderson, number five. I couldn't agree with that more. I couldn't agree with that more. I really like that lineup a lot, a lot. Um, yeah, Ireland stink. Um, okay, we'll go over predictions for sure. Uh, which Who do you think will be the next full? I, I don't know. Um, probably Scotland. We should do a bet, you know, who will be the next full member. I think it'll be two at a time, though. And, and honestly, I think it'll be Scotland and Nepal. Um, how could you not have Nepal as the next full member? But like, um, I don't know. I don't know what ICC is thinking. Nate Hayes is the best. 
another guy that you need to check out um emerging cricket podcast he's got a website and um he's got a website and let me just share the full thing you have to check Nate Hayes out so check out this website Emer podcast emerging cricket check that out and then um he posts articles regularly um emergingcricket.com i think it is yeah um this we this website is amazing um so he posts like you know news articles uh he's got a team uh really 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 good information so i highly recommend that you do that he is the og way better than me way smarter than me in, in every way possible so um yeah andrew's from ireland oh that that guy oh so yeah yeah andrew leonard okay that's the guy with the irish voice okay i know who you're talking about now the only way i see people get be more full member status is to see profitability don't worry nepal cricket will be regular in the world cups now yeah i agree i agree okay i don't think so bcci is involved in this uh yeah you should just be on here, uh, Utsa, but I'm going to go. I uh, love him. He gives me Jadeja vibes. Ooh, Jadeja vibes. Um, yeah, dude. Dependra is awesome. Netherlands. I've, I haven't been having Netherlands on my mind lately. Um, oh, his second home is Nepal. Okay, great. That's all making sense now because he's been um, – okay, it makes sense. I know exactly who you're talking about. Associates aren't treated like, yeah, in terms of finances. I know. And India is treated too nicely. India gets too much money. It's it's corrupt. You know, someone told me we should make like an alternate organization for tier two nations and like kind of like how they did with the World Series of Cricket. Like what's stopping you from making like a, a secondary um, governing body, you know, where that would just support um, associate nations cricket? I think that's might be necessary, but as we see more countries getting better and better, uh, ICC model might not work for us. And then the second question is like, which of these countries that are associate nations right now want to be test playing countries? You know, like what kind of format? It's so it's so hard because I love test cricket too. I, I'm falling in love with it. it, but it's like not practical for new countries to play. My recommendation to all Nepali fans, check the history of Afghanistan cricket from refugee camps in 2007 to the World Cup in 2015, then almost making it to the semifinals in 2023. Yep, take his advice. This guy knows what he's talking about. Um, Nepal hasn't beaten any full members. Yeah, we should do a video on, on Nepal being a uh, you know, full member. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Which USA players did good in Major League Cricket? I missed the tournament because my son was born on July 17th, so I missed, like, all of it. Um, that's a good question. I've been a little bit negative on Major League Cricket as of late, um, just how it's run, how it's not supporting local cricket. You know, you have teams like Washington Freedom that never play in Washington – um, I just think it's just too much of a money grab. So it's kind of hard to support something when it doesn't feel right. It's not like Everest Premier League, which is built from the bottom up. I love Everest Premier League. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yep. That would be fun. Fice. Yeah. We are unable to play against lower member ranking team because of associates tag. So we need full member within two to three years. That's a, that's a fair point, right? And the baby is playing good too. Yeah. They just had that one guy who got um, the fastest century. Uh, oh, I forget his name. It's really long. Test cricket is best. It It is, but it isn't like it is. So we've been watching a lot of T20 cricket lately, and I like T20 cricket, but it also leaves something to be desired. That's why I made the, like the 
T20 cricket rule changes just because I feel like, I don't know, just something's missing, you know, and I just don't like bowlers getting rocked all the time for sixes. It's just not like, that doesn't feel like cricket to me. I don't like that. Um, I really like test cricket a lot, but it's like, how practical is it? You know, I don't know. It's like having this amazing girlfriend and she lives like in a country far, far away. It's like, like, I really like this person, but it's like, oh, it's just so hard to commit to that. You know, that's kind of how I feel about test cricket. Fair enough. I see it. Fair enough. Do you want to see Nepal play test? I do. I want to see, I, I like ODIs. I think they should move more to ODIs. I love ODIs. I love ODIs. I'll just say it. Uh, list A cricket. They should focus on list A cricket. That should be the focus. And then test cricket should be like almost like a separate sport, I think. I think that's the only way to make it. So you have two formats, ODI and T20s. That way you could really dedicate to like, okay, new member nations, they're going to have to focus on ODIs. And then test nations, that's like a different organization body or something. That's something separate. I don't know. I don't know. That's really a really confusing problem. Don't you think Japan will be a big team in cricket in the next five to 10 years? Really? Yeah, they do have a history and, and they've done that with rugby union. Um, they've done that with rugby union recently. They've gotten really good. Um, but Japan is a baseball country, bro. Growing up, I had a Mizuno uh, baseball mitt from Japan, and I followed the uh, Japanese baseball league, um, the Hanshin Tigers. I mean, you don't understand how popular baseball is in Japan. I, I don't agree with that. I don't think they'll be a big team in cricket in the next five, ten years. I don't. But that's why we talk, like, because we can disagree, right? Um, Yeah, dude. Are you guys talking to Utsaf or me? No, I'm just joking. Okay. Um, I got to have to go soon. Only Scotland, Nether Netherlands, and Namibia are capable enough to play test cricket as their players play domestic. That's a good point. That's a very, 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 very good point. I don't like batting paradise game. I do not like it at all. I don't like it at all. I like really good singles. You know, I like, I like playing for certain, you know, runs and just, I hate it when like a team has to score a certain amount of overs or boundaries, sorry, boundaries to win. Cause it's like, they just have to crush the ball and that there's no, sh there's less strategy into that. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it. Um, so that's why I like ODI better. Um, I mean, T20 can be great, but they have to do something with the, uh, the constant boundaries. It's just not fun to watch, you know, like when Dependra Singh already got the, those six sixes, that was fun, but I don't like bowlers getting smoked constantly. I don't, I don't like that. Um, I agree with this a hundred percent. I agree with this a hundred percent. This is what they should do. Um, yes. A second tier tournament. I would love that. Do you mean in uh, uh, World Test Championships? Yes, 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 yes. It's easy to blame BCCI. You're right. It is very easy to blame BCCI. <laughs> I know. I know, dude. Okay. This is my wife watching. Okay. I mean, seriously. Okay. Um, Bootlier showing who is the boss. Yeah. I recently started watching NFL. How different is rugby? Very different. Very different. I, I can't watch NFL because there's so many commercials and just, I don't know. I like American football, but very, very, very different. Yeah. There's, um, there's a sport called rugby league, which is a little bit more similar to American football, but very, very different. Although very similar in certain ways. Yeah. Nippon baseball. Um, yeah. Japan's huge on baseball. Yeah, earlier T20 cricket was good. Yeah, I just – I don't like the way it's turning out. Don't you agree? All ODI status teams should get formed permanently as there's plenty of competition from everyone after PMG demoted. Yeah. Uganda doing great. I love Uganda. Who's on the Uganda train? So, oh, I love that. 
Um, does anyone have any more questions? Because I'm going to skedaddle. Yeah, in uh, five minutes here. Uh, three game, three day game associate cup. What's your thought? USA, Nepal versus Oman versus UAE versus Netherlands versus Namibia versus Canada. Um, is this a thing or is this just a recommendation? Uh, I would love that. Uh, I mean, how could I not love that? Like, I mean, if that was, if this is real, like awesome. If this is just a suggestion, that's awesome. Um, it's getting boring, right? It's like just the same. It, it's it's not just like that hitting big hits are, are boring, but it's like expected every game. And it's just like, okay, great. He hit a six. Woo. You know, it's like, there's nothing different from it. There's no like really clever batting. There's no like trouble with the bowlers. Like, oh, how do we, how do we hit this bowler? You know, we can't, you know. Oh, it's just, I like really good bowling, you know. Uh, even PNG and Hong Kong should be let to keep it permanently. I agree with that. ODI status should be given at 30, 32 teams. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, so I grew up watching the Detroit Tigers, uh, so they're my favorite team. And the Cleveland Indians, oh, they're the Cleveland Guardians now, but the Cleveland Indians. I used to walk to the games. Um, I have great memories of, especially with the Cleveland Indians. Um, um, just walking to the game, I would have the radio like with me. And so that's why I like test cricket. Cause you could listen to it all day long. And I would listen to baseball all day, every single day. Uh, and I love that. And I love that about test cricket. So uh, test cricket and baseball have a lot more in common than I think baseball and T20 in a lot of ways, because it's an everyday thing. And you're, And because like test cricket is like, it's like a game that carries over to the next day. And even though in baseball, they're separate games, like you don't have the same picture. So like, it, 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 I don't know, I have to explain that better, but it feel test cricket feels a lot like baseball a lot. Uh, give me any suggestion, please, please, please. Uh, do you watch? Um, I have to take my son to a, a, an appointment, but maybe after 12. Yeah, maybe a Thursday for sure. Friday for sure. Yeah, Padres are good. I never liked the NL. Uh, I always watch AL teams. Oh, I know, dude. I'm going to go soon. Um, not all teams are capable, so first let them play. I don't follow Mass. My favorite international player is Hardik Panda. Yeah. What's Mass? Um, all they need to do is make boundaries bigger. Yeah, that's a good point. See, I think, I th think like, in terms of cricket, like, test cricket is perfect. No changes are needed. ODI, probably no changes are needed, but you do need to change some rules in, in T20 because you're playing a game that's meant for test cricket in a, in a much smaller format, and it just it just doesn't work sometimes. You know what I mean? Make the boundaries bigger, cut down the width of the bat, and even make the playing surface. Yeah, dude, yeah, yes. I would love to just see it so you're struggling to get that, that single – or, you know, it's something different than just boom, six, boom, six. So boring. Um, and then we can appreciate good bowling. Like, okay, this bowler is coming in and how is he going to face off against this batter? And that's something you have in baseball. You know, we have matchups. We, okay, so, you know, we have Jasper at Bumra. He's coming in to face Glenn Maxwell. He, Glenn Maxwell sucks. and But, like, maybe a better batter. But, like, okay, but keeping the example, like, how do these players match up? But it's like, it's just assume you're just going to hit a six, hit a six, hit a, it's boring. Yeah. Kenya, maybe not Kenya, but I don't know about Jersey. I don't know. Some of those teams seem close though. What USA cricket needs badly is to have a college league. Yes, I agree with you. And I've talked to people about setting up a college league, but the college system is very different. There is, there, you know, yeah, I agree with you, but that's easier said than done. Yep. Yes, and 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 there's a similar thing with cricket, uh, with with rugby in colleges that we can kind of copy what rugby has done, but it's not going to be. It's easier said than done, but I agree. I agree with you. Yes, it might have to be a little bit like tweaked. 
we have a we have an organization called NCAA, which is the National Collegiate Athletic Association in the United States. And I don't think cricket should be part of that, but kind of like associated with it. But um, yeah, college and sports are really important in this country. Yeah, man, come on, let's do this. Uh, let me write this down. 70 meter, yeah, boundaries. Okay, I'm gonna go soon. Waiting for our boys to shine against Bangladesh. Um, yeah, I know, bro. I know. Where do you live, Faiz? Uh, uh, well, if you feel comfortable. Um, and I'd love to go to a game with you. Or I think you're in Texas. Yeah. Man, one day I'll go to a game with you. It's world. No, it's not going to. Maybe, maybe, but no, not really. Because you're taking this huge thing and you're just plopping it here and then it's going. You know, it's like. It's like really what World Cup should do is like come, you know, build around the infrastructure and like help grow it from the bottom up. But this is just like a big thing, just like landing here and then just going away. And so how is this World Cup going to help our young clubs? Is this World Cup going to help get into like physical education programs in the United States? Um what can we take away from this world cup? And, and it's just a really big money grab. If we really want to do it right, we need to have a real domestic competition with teams playing in the city, which, which they represent. And you say, look, we don't have the infrastructure ready. That's fine. But we need to build it first, build the infrastructure first. Our, our, our governing body is completely corrupt. And again, check out Pita de la Pena, check out Nate Hayes, because they uh, can express that much more. Uh, clearly than I could ever dream to do. They've dealt with it for like a decade or longer. So the, organiza the organizing body is extremely corrupt, petty. They're treating it like it's an amateur sport still. They don't know how to treat it professionally. United States Cricket made a deal with uh, something called ACE, um, which is an Australian company, which kind of runs everything for United States Cricket. United States Cricket just had their two full-time employees quit. Their only full two-time two employees quit and they, because they fired their CEO. So we're firing the CEO. Two, the only full-time employees that work there quit that were beloved by everybody. So like you talk about the growth of you know, a fan base in the United States, but the, the organization body has to be there. We can't do it without the organization body. The organization body is completely corrupt. They need to just go away, be expelled, and have really good people come into there. It can't work without this. So we're in no place ready to grow the game. And so, like, maybe what I can do, and, like, who am I? I'm just a small person. But in terms of cricket, like, raise awareness, you know, maybe help develop youth programs. And I know there's a lot of really good people. So I would say, you know, develop youth programs. Um develop like local teams that aren't related to major league cricket. Um, I'm not a really big fan of major league cricket. The more I learn about it or minor league cricket. Um, I don't like it. I don't like how it's a money grab. It should be much smaller than it is. You I mean, why can't we have like a thousand seat stadium, not have big superstars. I would support it the same. I don't care if we have, you know, um, certain players there. I don't care if we have Kyron Pollard in Major League Cricket. So why not start small and then grow? But it's like immediate, like we need to grow like now, have a three-week long tournament, which is like play in one or two cities, and then it's done. That's stupid. That's stupid. It needs to be like a multi-month season, develop uh, connections with the community, uh provide resources you know be a part of that city you know washington freedom they've never been in washington they, they you know like so what's the point of giving it the name washington freedom they tried to get a stadium in northern virginia and the people didn't like it so they're coming in and trying to build a stadium and people are like what the what the hell is this because they have no idea what cricket is. And so you're not selling it to the people. You need to like establish yourself small and then build up. If there was something we could point to and be like, that's what cricket is. This thing right here. We've been playing here for the last five years. Hey, how you doing? It'd be different. But it's just this thing that's just flying in. I don't know where cricket. Psh. The way it's going out. We're, we're not making people like 
we're not endearing ourselves to anybody. We're like pissing people off. I don't like it. And it feels dirty. And, and people are getting really rich off this when that's not the goal. The goal is for the love of the game, you know? So I don't like Major League Cricket. Yeah, I will. I like the Everest Premier League or, you know, the 100 or Big Bash League, which are started from the ground up. Um, how is New York weather? It's crap. Yep. Although the difference is that it's also like changes really fast and it's really, really cold. Oh, really? That's cool. MIT. Nice. Man, you're smart, dude. Um, Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm trying to move to Texas, bro. I'm trying to move to Texas. Uh, I mean, it's possible everywhere. I mean, we could even have cricket fan base here uh, where I live. but. Um, it's got to grow from the bottom. Youth programs are, you know, because like parents like me, like will watch a game, but we, I also want to take my kids to watch the game and I want to put them in leagues. And so like it has to start like every aspect of it. You know, I think rugby does a way better job um, than, than, than cricket. Cricket's doing a horrible job here. Um, oh, geez. Yeah. Canada is doing great in ODI and USA beat Canada in T20. Yeah, we destroy them. We always beat, but we always beat little brother. So PNG 100%. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, me too. Uh, I love USA cricket and uh, I love the players. Hate the board. Um, <laughs> basketball, I love it. Okay, guys, I'm about to skedaddle. So many good comments here. I really appreciate all the comments. Um, thank you guys so much. Live stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, just imagine if USA beat Ireland World Cup. Uh, no, the USA needs a good governing body right now. Because even if we win, our governing body is crap. We need a good governing body. That is number one. Um, we need people who don't care about money as much as they care about people. People over money. Love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully like 12 or 1 o'clock, okay? That's what I could do. Later. Bye.